All right, so this is something really, really cool. Um, over there, it's like 55 degrees, okay? Over there, and pretty much all throughout here was 55 degrees. Putting this glow, Glen, or whatever you want to call it, all day today. It has been cold enough. The frost. There's actually frost everywhere out here. This is by far even more beautiful than than Maui. To me, this is way better. Way better. I mean, look at that. And these babbling creeks, rivers. Um, I just don't know where to start. Getting out on a road trip is something that I have been wanting to do for quite some time. So the wife and I decided to rent a camper van and just do it. There is just something spectacular about a road trip. And it's been years since I've done it. And always it's the same thing. The anticipation, the a little bit of nervousness, the unknown, and just driving. You have a destination set in mind and maybe some waypoints in between, but it's all the other little things combined that you see that you just miss when you jump onto a plane and fly to your destination. If you're a photo enthusiast or just a crazy obsessive nerd such as I am, this is a splendid way to actually get some wonderful photos. It gets you out of your normal comfort zone and makes you look at things differently. And you just spend so much time with a camera in your hand and all that stress and tension just flows right off you. It's amazing. This is gonna be part one of two or three videos that I'm gonna split it up between. And the footage that I have isn't like my normal POV style footage where you see me taking photos and then I show the photo. It's actually gonna be a little different format because I was spending time with my wife on vacation that I wasn't actually thinking about making a YouTube video. Anyway. My lineup of cameras for this is my Olympus Pen EPL-10, my Olympus XA-2, my Bronica medium format sexiness, my Hitachi hybrid camcorder, and the love of my life, my Nikon FA. Of course, I have my Fuji X-T5 with me as well. So once we got on our way, we shot through Minnesota as fast as possible, legally, and we headed straight to the Badlands in South Dakota. Now, the Badlands is phenomenal. It's incredible. It's so vast and huge and just otherworldly. It's so cool, in fact, that I actually went there at the end of my trip as well. So I went there twice on this vacation. And I'm not ashamed to say that majority of my photos on this vacation were taken right here in the Badlands. There's just so much of it that you can photograph. It's un unreal. You can look at something twice and see it five different ways each and every time. There is just subtle greens and subtle oranges and reds that just are beautiful. And it's incredible. It's it's I'm speechless about this place. It's fantastic. If you ever get a chance, definitely got to go there. So we left the Badlands and we went camping up in the mountains near Mount Rushmore. And the next morning, we decided to hit the Needles Highway on our way to see the National Monument. And I got to tell you, worth every penny of the drive in gas. Absolutely. It was 10 times better than Mount Rushmore. Don't get me wrong, Mount Rushmore is a national monument and it's majestic in its own way, but this is more of what I prefer and what I like. And I'm glad that I got to see it and experience this. 
Now, the Needles Highway is called the Needles because of the formation of the rocks. It looks like there's needles everywhere, so they call it Needles Highway. And it's pretty cool. Uh, very, very cool. You ever get a chance? Check it out. But anyway, here are some photos. All these photos here in the Needles Highway were done on my Nikon uh, FA using, I think, Portra and Ultramax. I wanted to add that while I love Portra, these photos really, really stood out much better using Ultramax. It just, it, it had a better feel for, a better vibe for this area and the, the color of the rock and the time of the day and everything like that, where I think Portra would have been a little bit muted on that. Now, here we come up to this really cool tunnel that, you know, part of the pass, and it's just... I think it's partially man-made and the rest of it is natural. It's like a natural crag or crack or whatever you want to call it. But this is also the, the eye of the needle, which you'll see here in a few moments. But just the formation of these rocks in this area was just spectacular and amazing. Again, everything here was shot on my absolutely amazing Nikon FA with just perfect exposures. I absolutely love this camera. It never fails me. This tunnel was just so cool. There was so much to shoot here, and, and I got tons of photos of just this tunnel. Uh, but this is coming up to my favorite photo, actually one of my favorite photos of this vacation. And it's of this tunnel. It's actually coming up in just a second here. And here it is. It's just, I just love everything about it. it just speaks to me. I think it's a perfect photo. And after we were done up in the mountains, we made our way over to Mount Rushmore. Cool place. I enjoyed it. It was well worth going. I didn't use any film here. I actually only shot on my Fuji X-T5 using a Portra 400 simulation. And these are the results of that. And again, it's a cool place. Crazy what they were able to achieve with, with carving out the side of a mountain. But it wasn't exactly what I was going for on this trip. I wanted more landscapes and stuff like that. But still, you're right there. You've never been there before. Got to go see it. And this is the conclusion of part one of my trip. Part two is going to be up in Colorado and back to the Badlands. So I hope you enjoyed what I had out here today because I sure did. I enjoyed this trip immensely. Probably one of the best vacations I've had in a very, very long time. And it was well worth the time and the money to do this trip. But... Thanks again. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'll see you in part two.